Hey everybody, I am back again with another video and I am your host, Fossil the Arto, aka Demario Morgan. And today this is one of my most exciting paintings yet. And and usually um one of my friends um, asked me uh I can draw a uh, Majin Buu for him. And to be honest, this isn't my first attempt on um drawing Majin Buu in my own style. Usually I have to like go through a lot of um changes a lot of uh details and <clears throat> it was one of the most uh challenge it was one of the most challenging and yet it was very fun to do but um yeah i'm very excited and i also have more news though uh, i will be doing potential projects next week so i don't know if i'm gonna go back to uh doing uh videos right now but anyway though uh, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and if you like my cool and amazing artwork then social medias are down below so anywho let's get into it so the uh, thing was is that uh my friend he um asked me if i wanted to like draw a uh, majin boo in his uh kid form well not exactly his kid form usually i have to like ask him specifically about uh which forms of majin boo do you want do you want a uh, super boo do you want um ultimate boo or you just want the hawking boo the fat boo or just kid boo in general and i guess though he kind of chosen the kid boo one obviously and it was very good knowing like this is very great for me to like do a whole lot of work and pretty much taking notes of course and as well as um i had a whole lot of a field day trying to like get the um pose right as well as the um angle right because usually um for this one i did mess up on this one because usually uh right now is that you can obviously tell like his arm is not exactly like stretching from where his um from where his uh right arm is as well as his legs and i was kind of disappointed in a way because usually i thought i could just get the hang of it just like that just get a few clicks just like that but uh no i guess it's all like i well i mean like um bob ross said there's always going to be happy accidents along the way and turns out i did <laughs> i kind of find it ironic to be honest it was really really ironic and that's just something that i pretty much like take note about that main important factor so the thing is about majin buu uh when i first saw him is that i first saw him in one of the dragon ball video games uh right now is that i can't like say it because right now i feel like i might butcher it but he appeared in one of the uh other sagas is that I never knew much about Majin Buu. I always thought of him as more like this villainy character. Usually I thought like there was nothing more to him other than Frieza. And um, it was something that I never like bothered to like look. But I guess uh, you, Scott, I guess it's all you could say like one day, I guess somewhere in, in my uh, middle school days, that's when I started like getting into Dragon Ball and um, I was somewhat um, getting into the uh, Vegito saga. That's where uh, Majin Buu kind of like has this so has this sort of like a transformation from um, from um, Super Buu to um, Ultimate Buu to Kid Buu, and that's how I kind of like like Majin Buu because in this sense, it's like I'm just gonna be totally honest. I'm just gonna be totally honest with you. He is just like a he is definitely like a rubber man, just like Luffy, but he has more abilities. And usually it's like he can absorb people, he can get powers from them, and that's how he's like, yeah, he is a chaotic monster and stuff. And he's pretty and he's pretty much funny. And I pretty much consider him to be one of my uh favorite too, because he's always been like this funny character that just um that just mocks his um enemies or his uh opponents like thinking like you could never beat me you could never get a 
scratch on me or anything like that. And that was something that I really do like. And see, the thing was with um, Boo was, is like, Boo is just straight up pure evil. He just pretty much like doesn't care about anything else. Like he just only there for like the whole destruction of each and everything in the entire universe and he's supposed to be like this magical being that's supposed to be like stretching like gum and most probably like doing a whole lot of stuff like turning people or turning any objects into like anything like candy or soda or or many stuff like <laughs> it's it's pretty much crazy to pre it's crazy to like think about it you know but uh it was very incredible just to see also, there was another version like him, and it came from a uh, Dragon Ball uh, GT. It's like instead of like it's called, it's called instead of like the person like absorbing people in order to like gain their strength. It's like they just like go in and then just possess the person and then just take their strength right automatically. And I think you know who I'm talking about. And yes, it is Baby. Now. I considered Baby to want to to be like my number one uh, favorite uh, villain is because is because he is like Majin Buu but like 2.0 and Baby he always been obsessive about taking back for what is his and also what the Santa did for him. Uh, uh, spoilers uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet and I pre and I'm pretty sure that I recommend y'all to like go watch a uh, Majin I mean Majin Buu <laughs> I, I I recommend on watching Dragon Ball and it's pretty and it's pretty much good I mean some people don't really like the whole season of it because it's like yeah the season is kind of like somewhat um like many people were like saying like the uh, characters they kind of like have like a less fight and then they just started to like talk too much and giving some exp and, and getting some explanations and i pretty much understand why but at the same time it's like there are like some fans who just want to know about like this character they just want to know like who he is and what he is and where he is from and how he is made and and usually like there is no telling what Majin Buu might do just to pretty much um to like cause chaos anything in his way and that was something like people kind of saying like oh uh we didn't really like need like that whole explanation just stopping and talking for a sec and then just like um go back on the uh, day like everything that happened or most of the stuff that happened in those events and to be honest I feel like the one who was like the most powerful one to be honest is um, Fat Boo because if you can tell like Fat Boo was just pretty much like panting up all this energy and stuff and then I guess in Dragon Ball Super though is that uh he kind of like changes form from like being like his regular self to a slim one and um many and see uh many uh people find it very scary and also very cool to see like majin buu like fighting in action and he was even the most powerful one and goku was somewhat like having a hard time beating uh Majin Buu in his slim in his slim form because I guess like Goku kind of like asked is that um he wants to like fight Majin Buu just to see how powerful he is to like go into the uh tournament of power and I'm pretty sure like Majin Buu just loves to like uh loves to like uh play around he likes to hang around with uh Hercule and that's something I do, do like but also, though, like, I feel like Majin Buu would have been, like, a potential character in the Tournament of Power. Like, he, like, he could have faced the other, um, he could have faced and off with the other 12, uh, universes. And he somehow is, like, he is regenerative. Like, he, 
like he never stops he never like ran out of energy he's somewhat like being a real powerhouse like um uh what's his name i mean sorry uh her name uh kefla and she was even more stronger than any of them and it and it was something new but uh i have a feeling like many people wanted to see that fight be i, I mean i have a feeling that many people wanted to like see that fight and it was something in incredible to see and pretty sure like many people would have like missed out on it and that was something like maybe like they can like do a whole like what maybe they can do a whole what if majin boo like just entering in inside of the tournament of power and then he just like changes form saying like he has gone he has gone from this fat boo to a slim boo and he's even more faster more powerful and he is hard and, and he's like difficult to like uh catch but i'm pretty sure like the whole rules is that they wouldn't allow him to like turn his entire opponent into like candy and stuff but anyway though that's pretty much it for this uh video that's all i have to say and also i wanted to like um uh i want to like, talk this first but like i said i'll be doing future projects so anywho though Take care, everyone. See ya.